Here for Chamber 26, you guys are going to create a document and put in many of the features that Google Docs offers. To begin, you're going to go to your uh, drive and then go to Create Document. That will open up a blank document. The first thing you're going to want to do is to rename it. You can do that again by clicking on Untitled Document up here and then typing in a name for your document. Uh, chamber 26 um, and your name. Okay, then we're going to start by giving it a heading. Uh, the heading we're going to put on the right side so you can go up here to the alignments and click on right align start by putting in your capitalize your first and last name um, period your teacher and today's date then hit enter two times and the next thing we're going to put in is a title title we're going to want to center so you're going to go back up here to align and go to center align um, for the title it can be uh, anything um, here let's call it my life uh, for the title I also want you to make it bold and italics so click and highlight make it bold okay that's the thicker darker letters and then the I is the slanty letters, those are the italics. Sometimes we also underline titles would be another option. Um, but in this case we're going to do just the italics. Okay, so now you're going to hit enter two more times. Now you'll notice it's still centered and bold in italics. We don't want that anymore, so click on that to get rid of those. And we're going to go to the left, the left align and from now on um, when we start new paragraphs we'll use the tab button the tab button will indent it just right for you and here we're gonna have the body of it so just um, tell me a story tell me anything write a paragraph up um, uh, it doesn't really matter to me too much what it's about um, so here's my life so I, um, in this um, use proper grammar, punctuation, capitalization, and all that. Uh, and through the magic of my screencast, I am going to finish my paragraph. And voila, I have a paragraph. Uh, now that I'm back, I want to show you a couple things. One, you can see that I misspelled basketball, and it has this red line under it. In Google Docs, you can right-click on it, and they will give you a suggestion. Did you mean basketball? I can click on that, and it will fix it for me. Uh, next thing I want to show you is I want it double space. We usually have our um, text double space when we type. So I'm going to highlight all this and I'm go to this arrow up and down, which is line spacing. It defaults to 1.15. There's one and a half. We want double space, so that gives you a little bit more room. Um, so there I typed out the body. Now we want an image included. So I'm going to go down a couple. I'm going to um, center my image and I can go here to insert image and you can go out you can upload one that's on the computer you can open up uh, another tab and go to Google and search I'm gonna do it right in here do a search um, and I talked about sports um, a lot in there so I'm gonna find a picture that kinda represents sports no images found that shouldn't be here uh, let me try San Francisco so I found some pictures of San Francisco I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and select that and it will insert my picture right in there uh, this one clearly is way too big that's okay I can just click on the corner and drag it up and make it smaller uh, it looks like it's still loading but that's okay um, the next thing uh, I need is a link um, so for example if I wanted here a link to the University of San Francisco, 
um, I'm gonna open up another tab and put in University of San Francisco and I'm gonna use that link there I'm gonna copy that or control C and uh, oops and here it's already highlighted I'm gonna go to this insert link and uh, I'm going to paste the link right there and apply and you'll notice now it turns into a blue link um, that's another thing you can use in your docs um, another thing that you need to include is a footnote um, I'm going to use a footnote for Saipan so I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to go to tools research tools research here's information on Saipan Wikipedia I'm going to click cite what that does is it puts in a um, footnote uh, puts in the number one which means now on the bottom of the page there's a footnote as to um, where that information came from this is again all of these are just samples this is not exactly how it would all look if you're doing an actual pa research paper or paper for a class uh, the last thing I want you to include is a table and that's just because I want you guys to try making one so here you go to table insert table um, I'll make it three by three on top I'm gonna put um, let's see let's put uh, the school that I went to um, the mascot and the years and I'm gonna click on this I'm gonna go back to table table properties and I'm gonna make the top part gray just to show that it's um, the category and I'm gonna make it bold now in here I'm gonna put the school I went to so I went to um, uh, USF uh, we were the Dons and I went there from 1996 to 2000 after that I went to Azusa Pacific and they are the Tigers I believe <laughs> and I went there from 2001 to 2002 and then again for my masters in 2010 to 2012 and so just so you know how to put in um, a table I want you to just put in a small one you can always go up here if you needed to insert another row you can insert a row below if I needed to add another school that I forgot or something like that if I have an extra row I can highlight that go to table and uh, delete row okay so then um, check your checklist again you're gonna rename it as I did up here you're gonna give it a heading a centered title that's bold and italic indent by hitting tab type out a paragraph double space it check your spelling insert a link insert a footnote an image and a table uh, when you're all done don't forget to go to share invite me copy the link and put it on your individual chamber alright and that's what you're gonna do for chamber 26